Ya is second preceded by a letter with Fatha. If this is the case, so start working. Yes. Okay. And if the wow is preceded by another also the same letter that is uh, having Fatha, then it is Huruf from Huruf to Lee. And after that, we mentioned the types of the Mat. We mentioned we have Mat the Tabi'i. بدل عوض عارض السكون مبدلين واجب متصل جائز منفصل مبدلين. These are the main seven types. And uh, we mentioned about the المد الطبيعي. We said that it's only two حركة and it comes on the حروف المبدية only the natural مد. As we give here in these examples بإجارة ترميهم مأكول. You will find that here the alif is only having two beats. Okay, the same for the ya, the same for al wawd. And after that, we mentioned about mad al badal. Mad al badal. We said that the main thing for the mad al badal that the hams is coming before harf al mad, like amin, for example, like here ra'abu. The ayatin. This is hams before the alif. And al ayah means that the hams before al madhaz. So this is madh badal, and we said that it is two beats. We are having it two beats. It is like al madh al tabi'i. Okay. But that madh al awad, we said madh al awad means that whenever we find a word that is ending with tanween and we want to stop on it, then we remove madh, we remove the tanween, the tanween al maftuh and replace it with the, uh, the compensation or the uh, which is two beats so here instead of saying turaban we say turaba ma'an should be ma'an here sabaha amra safa so these are mad al which is the compensation as we mentioned Except for the ta in marbuta, here, and the except for the ta in marbuta, the reader should stop on ta marbuta and pronounce it like ha with the sukun. We're going to have some examples for uh, for this. So whenever we stop on ta in marbuta, which is wanna for example, in this case we should make it like ha, not ta. We'll give examples for this. We'll see some examples later. After that, we mentioned about madar the sukun, and we mentioned that madar the sukun we have we can prolong proof in mad, whether by two, four, or six beats. Okay, when this mad only exists if the reader stops on on that word. If the reader does not stop on it, it should be considered as mad tabi'i two beats. Like, like for example, al -Azim. So if we're going to stop on the mean, in this case we are going to make this yet to be two, four, or six. Azim, okay, or Azim. This is six beats, for example. The same al -Rahman. You should say al -Rahman. This is two beats. Or al -Rahman. four beats. Or six beats. Al -Rahman. Okay. Similar in Sijil, Yatasa, and so on. If you are going to stop, this means that the Noon is having, instead of Fatha, it, it, it has Sukun. So, this is the meaning of Al Madd al Arabi. After that, we mention about Madd al which is Ya or Wal, preceded by a Harf Maftuh. In a Harf Maftuh. So we here it should be Osaif. We will start from here. I'm sorry? We will start from here. Yeah. From today. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I think we stopped last time. So this is Madd al And the Lean, I think that we, we took Madd al also. But anyway, it is easy because there is nothing in it. Also, Madd al we can prolong the 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, or 6. Okay? So here we should say خوف خوف which is two beats if we want to make it four so it would be خوف 
is prolonged four, four beats. The same here, you will find the yet preceded by ba, which is having fatha, and the yet preceded by sad, which is having fatha. This med, we call it med al What are huruf al Letters of al Bow and ya. Yes, bow and ya Okay, preceded by fatha. What is huruf al Alif, waw, ya. Okay, and preceded by? Alif preceded by fatha, waw preceded by dhamma, and ya preceded by kasr. Yes, excellent. So this is met al and we are going to pronounce it, inshallah. So even the mushaf that I sent to him is not here. So where Waqar, Waqar didn't receive it from him? Or didn't pass it to any one of you? No? No. Uh, Brother Hassan, maybe he shared it with us. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. shared that. I think that I, I gave it to him and I said to... Uh, it was a big file, like maybe in 80 or whatever. Big file in MBs. So where did he share? On the, the PDF, I think it was, uh, it is a uh, small size uh, PDF. But he said that Waqar will be the TA. So he will have such kind of things. So I thought that he... But the Hassan shared it maybe three weeks back or four weeks back. Is that the, that old? I think he shared it with Waqar. Yes, Mustafa Al-Madina. Okay. Okay. Um, email. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mustafa Al-Madina. I shared it in Kakao yeah. Talk also. Yeah. I shared it in Kakao Talk. Anyway, we can have the ruling, and after that, in the practice, inshallah, we can go whatever. But uh, the, the, the person who, who will be the teaching assistant, inshallah, for the next uh, courses should keep these kind of uh, things with him. Because we do not want to spend another time for searching and bring also the, the Mus'haf that the Urdu Mus'haf. This is also we should. Uh, keep it so that we can we can compare between Medina and and the Urdu. And Lahore. Yeah, yeah Lahore. <laughs> okay. Let's go now to Mad al Wajib al Muttasim. Mad al Wajib Muttasim means Wajib means mandatory, as you can see. Wajib means mandatory. And the Muttasim means joined. So joined and mandatory. In the same word, you will find that in the same word, you will find that there is met and there is reason for the met, which is hands, for example, here. So in this case, if a met letter, well, or alif, or yeah, is followed by hamza, this is the cause, this is the reason, which present, which is present in the same word, the reader should prolong it four or five beats. How, how much? Four, four five or five beats, beats for, for the same word that is having met and and uh, and hamza, like here, waji 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 Hems, but they are the same. There's Arif meant, and there is Hamza, which is the reason for the prolongation, and then we prolong it four or five. Okay? This is very common. You're going to find it in different places. So this is what we call it, Wajib. Wajib means mandatory, Mutasa means joint. Join. Okay. How much? Four, four or five, or five weeks. weeks. Next one, Madduja, is Mufasil, which is Jaiz means permitted. Munfasil means separated. Separated means that it is between two words. It is between two words. As you can see here, inna anzalnam. Look here. This is half a Inna anzalnam. This is half a And anzalnam, actually, this is hamzit, as you can see here. Hamza. It is hamz here. So this is in two words. Inna, this is a pronoun, anzalna, means that we have sent it down. 
So in this case, we have two different words. The end of the first word is met, and the first of the next word is met. So here we should say, Inna anzalna. Inna anzalna. Yes. And here it is, we said, we said it is jaz, means that it is permitted. Okay? Jaz means permitted or permissible. Means that if you want to prolong, it's okay. If you do not want to prolong, no need to prolong. Make it two beats only. Okay? Here, Alladhi anqada. Alladhi So here, we, how, how, how long beats we have to prolong it? Four or five. Four or five? Yes. Here, four or five beats. Actually, there, there are some. Here, four or five, which is in Madd al Jaiz al Mufasil. For in Madd al Muttasil, some ulama, they said it's okay to prolong even to six. Okay? Especially if the word having Hamza Mutatarifan, which is the Hamza at the end of the word. Is there a way, for example, if a person does not know, either it is in the same word or in the, uh -huh. the second word? So in Mustafa al Madina, is there a way to distinguish between the Madd al Mufasil and Madd al Mutasil? No, I guess. I guess there is no special thing. Only they have this sign. Something. And this is common in both. Uh, yes, this is common. Yes, in both. So this is why they do not have any any distinction between the two. The only thing is that it is in two words. That's it. So this is something that is known. Because here, alladhi atahum, this is one word. This is another word. For example, people like us do not know either. This is the same word. Ah, uh, really. Mm -hmm. That's why maybe in our Musahif, yes, uh, we have different symbols for this. Ah, for Madd al Muttasil and Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe after class we can. Yes, we can see it in the Urdu version. But anyway, this is you. You need to 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 know it if you are going to read at least. Yes, the word because the word will be very very long. If, if it's two words. So, inna anzalnam, inna anzalnam. Even that in the pronunciation, it is, it is, it is, if you can read Arabic only, you will feel that it is two words. Because sama, for example, it is short. I mean that you will find it short. You can distinguish easily. But anyway, maybe in, uh, in, in Urdu, it, they, they distinguish between the two yes. uh, based on this. Professor, how yes. about uh, differentiating separated and joint? I mean, how, what is the difference between? Between? Separated and joint, like, mm -hmm. and what? How can, like, uh, as an example, can you tell us? He is asking that, how to know, uh, like, it was joint. Actually, let me explain. Okay, the is the 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 word. It is, I mean, there is no. Here, for example, ulaika, it is one word. Yes. You will not find separation. Only sama, you will find that it's one word, and the in the same word there is met, and at the end of the word there is uh, kind of hamza. Uh, but here, it, it is two words. Alladi and anqada. It is two words. Here, alladi atarnahum yalbathu illa. Inna and Zanna. These are the two words. So we have to distinguish based on this, based on how many words. Okay, so now we are done with the Madd al Wajib al Muttasil and the Madd al Wajib al Jaiz al Muttasil. They are easy actually to. to uh, Professor, this word Wajib, is it the same as using legislation and jurisprudence? Wajib? Uh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wajib, the word wajib, whenever we use it in, in this context, which is the tweet, means that the majority and the scholars of the tweet, they are saying this 
uh, is wajib. Wajib means that it should be done whenever you are reciting the Quran. But what if that you didn't do it? Then it will be under the category of lahm al-khafi, which is, uh, as we said, you are not going to be sinful for it if you are not doing it in intention and so on. So the, the term wajib does not mean here halal and haram as in the fiqh or jurisprudence. But here wajib means that the majority of the Tajweed scholars are saying that this way is the way of Rasulullah and Sahaba did it. So this means that you should do it. But again, if you didn't, it doesn't mean that you are, as I said, sinful like the, uh, the jurisprudence of fiqh. Here let's go to Al-Mad Al-Lazim. Al-Mad Al-Lazim, which is, uh, we call it uh, Lazim, or it is compulsory, also. mandatory and compulsory, actually they are the same. But here, this is the wording that they used in general to distinguish between things. Mad Lazim here means that it is always six beats. Six beats always. The other one, with, which is Mad Dwajib, it was four or five beats, mm -hmm. and as I said, some, some scholars have said that it can be six, but, but anyway, let's be in the majority, four or five. Here, Maddalazim means six, six beats always. And we have two types, which is Maddalazim Harfi, Maddalazim Harfi. Harfi means that letters, based on letters. And Maddalazim Kilmi, or Kalimi, means based on word. Here, based on letters, here, based on. Uh, on, uh, on words. And we have two different levels. Mukhaffaf, Muthaqqan. Here, Mukhaffaf means light. Here, Muthaqqan means heavy. The same here. Mukhaffaf, Muthaqqan. So, Maddilazim in your mind should be, we have Maddilazim, and we have based on letters, based on words. And for the letters, it is based on, or two levels, Mukhaffaf and Muthaqqan, Mukhaffaf and Muthaqqan. Okay? These are the Ruling. Let's have this, which is المد اللازم الكلمي المثقل المد اللازم الكلمي المثقل which is this one, okay? Wording based on wording and مثقل. If a مد letter is followed by مشدد letter, the reader is required to prolong the مد letter. It must be prolonged six beats. Okay, look here. This is one word only. ضال. We have here. Mad the letter and followed by what? Shadd. Do you remember that in Mad al Muttasil, Mad al Munfasil, the reason for Mad was what? Hamza. Hamza. But here, the reason for Mad is what? Shadd. Shadd. It is different. Okay? Here, like here, at Tawma, also we find Alif, Mad, and followed by Mim Mushaddad. So it should be six beats. Lazim. At so now we can understand this is mad blazing kalimi muthaqqal in the same word we have half al mad followed by half al mushab okay then uh, this is Musakkal because of the words, they no. are having heavy letters. because of the Shadda. Because of the Shadda. So the word Musakkal and Mukhaffaf will be related. Musakkal means there is Shadda. Mukhaffaf means that there is Sukun. Okay? So now we can get the meaning of Musakkal and Mukhaffaf. Let's so, uh, this has nothing to do with the... Uh, Letter like a sa, sa, and pa, and da. No, 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 it has nothing to do with this because this is only in the word. This is as we said, medilazin kalimi. Kalimi means word. So this is medilazin kalimi mufaqi. Then, mukhaffaf, medilazin kalimi mukhaffaf, like what? As I said to you, look here. Al an. Here. This is half a mat, followed by what? Okay. Yes, sukun. Lam second. So this is one of the reasons for mad lazim. Kalimi mukhaffaf. Okay? 